Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Pondo in Vancouver 2022. I am Dustin Childs, your host, and as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, been doing a lot of talking over the last three days, but we've got a couple exciting more attempts to go. So up next, we have the Star Labs team who are currently in the lead for the Master of Pwn. They will be attempting a local privilege escalation on Ubuntu desktop. If successful, they will win $40,000 and four more points towards Master of Pwn. That would give them 27 points total and would pretty much cement their lead in Master of Pwn and wow, they would win the overall thing. By the way, I haven't mentioned it too much. Master of Pwn also includes this amazing trophy that we have had made celebrating the 15th anniversary of the contest. That's pretty cool. And uh, I think it should ship better than some of the other trophies we had in the past. So, exciting news on that. But without any further delay, I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Tony, and he's going to take us through the exploit, and we're going to see what happens with this local EOP, again, with, from Star Labs. Tony? All right. Billy, are you ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, let us know when to start the clock. Oh, start the clock. Start the clock. <laughs> <laughs> As always, we have five-minute attempts, three five-minute attempts within a 30-minute window. But in this case, local ELPs tend to go pretty quickly, either success or failure. Hold on just a second. Okay, so... Uh, okay, they're looking at something in-depth now. This is, uh, you want to call this one a fail and, and uh, debug? So, this first failed attempt. so the first attempt has failed. Now, <clears throat> again, like I said, I have three attempts total within that 30-minute window. However, there's a lot of things we can do in that 30-minute window to uh, kind of adjust, debug, try again. Uh, I know the previous attempt we just had, we didn't stream it, but it was in our other room, our arcade room. It was a Windows 11 elevation of privilege. Its first attempt failed and then the second attempt hit right away. So that was a successful demonstration. Let's hope we have something similar here with Star Labs. So whatever it is, they can debug, they can make changes, or depending on the type of bug, they just need to run it again. I think in the case of Windows 11, not certain, 100%, so don't quote me on this, but I think it was a race condition that they used, so they just needed to run it again. Uh, and in this case, in that second time, they were able to win that race condition and have their exploit yeah, succeed. So again, uh, Tony and Mike are both Pwn to Own veterans. They are on our team. They are ZDI vulnerability analysts, and they will be uh, looking at uh, any sort of configuration that they need to do, any change that they need to make to uh, set things up. And see how it goes. So is this clock relatively accurate then? Okay. So we have 28 minutes left overall in the attempt. So that's... Trust me, as someone who's standing up light years of time. Now, right now, Star Labs, I believe they are located in Vietnam. Is that correct, Mike? Do you know? Singapore. I said Singapore. Okay, so they're located in Singapore. Uh, they are connected to us on Teams right now, and they are going through various options with Tony. So they have the option to you know, make changes, they can look at different config options. Uh, I think I heard maybe changing directories or something. Uh, so we are, in other words, we are online live with the contestant right now, even though they aren't physically present here in Vancouver with us. If you are physically present in Vancouver, make sure you come down to the Orca Room by the residential tower here at the Sheraton Wall Center and see us. Come by and say hello. I like it when people say hello. And uh, check things out. We got plenty of stickers left. We got t-shirts left. We've got challenge coins left. I had somebody hit me up on Twitter for a challenge coin, and I said, dude, send me your address, and I will send you a coin and some stickers. So uh, that's kind of an open invite for anyone who wants to watch, and we'll make sure you get some challenge coins. If you can figure out how to get in touch with me, that is your challenge. And then you get a coin. It's a coin that looks like this, except I'm not on screen. That's the coin. <laughs> okay, that's the coin. A, uh, reboot of the virtual machine? Okay, that's another thing. I, I'm overhearing things. We're going to restart the virtual machine. Yes. Uh, lot, so most of the things that we run here are actually VMs, so we are able to blow those away and restart them. 
course, we are also now switching cameras behind the scenes. So that's good, too. If you are here at the contest, uh, we have a Xbox, uh, Xbox One Series S, I believe. It's the newest digital version. Um, I think now I'm now at the Batman criminal angle. <laughs> that should be like climbing up the building. Sorry. That's a little old school Batman camp for you, but uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. And then, uh, but anyway, we have an Xbox here. Uh, it's the newest digital version, and we will actually be giving that away uh, through a trivia contest. So I'm not going to tell you the questions yet, because I'm going to tell everyone at once here in the, in the conference. But uh, yes, part of the thing is you will have to write down the answers and bring them to me. I am a moving target, so that is your first goal, is you have to find me. You have to write down the answers to my trivia questions, all related to Pwn to Own, of course, and then bring them to me. Uh, and if successful, you will win that Xbox Digital Edition. I'll just stand like this, maybe. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're increasing the level of difficulty, so I'm now the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <clears throat> we have just under 25 minutes left overall in, the, uh, in this attempt. So again, plenty of time left to go. Uh, I know Tony is working with them, and he's got his Sennheiser headphones on. If you're uh, in the market for some microphones, we use Sennheiser. They're quite good. They don't give us any money, but they do make me loud, which is uh, always appreciated. Is Mike, how are we looking? We're gonna, we getting set to go again? We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Again, we have the opportunity to check a lot of different uh, variables. As I mentioned in previous attempts, there are a lot of different variables before Pwn to Own that you think you've overcome, that uh, once you get to Pwn to Own that maybe you decide, maybe you figure out uh, you haven't quite overcome them yet. Uh, I tell, I've told the story yesterday, I'll tell it again today, just in case anyone hadn't heard it. One of my favorite instances of this was a few years ago, uh, someone was attempting to exploit the on-screen keyboard in Windows. Uh, so they had written their exploits on a camera, uh, on a resolution monitor, they get to Pwn to Own, the resolution is different on the laptop. So for their exploit to succeed, all they needed to do was move the cursor to the return key and click it on the screen. However, uh, since the resolution was different, the XY coordinates were not correct. So in between attempts, they were desperately trying to figure out what XY coordinates they needed to get to move their cursor to enter and hit enter. And that was it. That's all they needed to do. Uh, and they couldn't get it within the time allotted. But I thought that was... First of all, a unique exploit, exploiting the, uh, the on-screen keyboard, and then um, sadly comical for them that they just needed to click enter and they couldn't get the mouse clicker right with the same spot. So, oh, I think we're almost set for our second attempt here. We are ready. Well, our clocks are set. Yep. Okay, and we have begun our second attempt. So our elevation of privilege attempt right. has begun. Is okay, yeah. there we go. All right, that's two in a row. Two in a row, we're one failure. Uh, the first attempt failed, but the second attempt succeeded. Let's see if uh, Tony is able to turn that around and show the audience. Uh, close off the uh, important things that are a little bit too detailed uh, and see if we can find that uh, UID of zero there. Very small prompt, but yeah, that's what we've got. We got that uh, show with elevated root pri privileges. So that's awesome. Congratulations to Starlab on that successful demonstration. Now, uh, of course, we will go off to the disclosure room, and uh, they will go through all of the details, uh, and we will deconflict that and make sure that it's not a duplicate, it's not a bug collision. Then we will disclose it to Canonical Ubuntu. We have one more attempt to stream this afternoon at 1:30. And I believe that is a Windows 11 uh, elevation of a privilege attempt. So join us then as we take it, the last attempt for Pondo in Vancouver 2022. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see how high we can get on that award ceremony. We'll see you then. <laughs>